So we're going to look at a phylogenetic tree, and phylogenetic trees, like many things, can be a little bit complicated, and so we are going to use chocolate bars to look at them, and I like to think about them all branching from this cocoa plant, this cocoa bean, and we're going to use eight pretty common chocolate bars, and I have made a phylogenetic tree showing which ones are more closely related, and we can see that this is a rooted tree. We have this common ancestor back here. It's also an, uh, an example of cladogenesis where we see that it branches off versus anagenesis where it would be just linear, which might have happened back here at this common ancestor to all of these chocolate bars. So we can see that how we make these is by using OTUs, which are just differences in the chocolate bars. And so, or the chocolate bars are our species, and so that's how we have these OTUs, and so we can see that we have these Hershey's bars and the Crunch bars, and so they're more closely related, so their OTU would be a smaller number. And then we can uh, look at all of them and see that our Kit Kat would be on that same level of like it's, it's close and it's this out group because its common ancestor is on this internal node in here and it's more closely related to this one than maybe the Hershey's and the Crunch Bar but it's not related as related to the other ones and then we can see that we have this Milky Way and the Snickers Bar and they're pretty closely related because they have like nuts in them and caramel and we have an out group of our three musketeers because maybe the common ancestor on this internal node was like a tube shaped chocolate bar but it didn't have all of the nuts and stuff that maybe we saw in the milky way or snickers bar so we would see this divergence of this the musketeers as our out group and all the way down here on this bottom node we could see that these probably diverged way in their common ancestor to all these other bars is all the way back here that's where their more recent common ancestors because the mounds and almond joy have coconut and almonds if you're an almond joy and all the um and that in there and so that probably means that they are more different than the rest of them so the way that we can look at this tree is by maybe looking at like the similarities of the bars and you can see that these internal nodes over here can give rise to some of these out groups this internal node here this uh, this common ancestor would be more related to these three bars over here or six bars than these so the conclusion that we can reach from this is that phylogenetic trees can show us the OTUs or just the differences in the genetic material between organisms, or in this case, we used chocolate bars.